Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will be introducing the SAP Data Services Environment. We are going to start by signing on to SAP Data Services and to a specific repository. Once at the developing environment, we will review the default layout, the placement of the file formats, the data stores, the various transforms, and the placement of the workflows, data flows, jobs, and projects. Okay, now let's take a quick tour of SAP Data Services. Click on Start, Programs, SAP Data Services 4.2, and execute the SAP Data Services Designer. Provide your login credentials. Click on Logon. Select the repository that has been assigned to you. Click OK. If this repository is password protected, key in the password. Click OK. And this is the SAP Data Services landing page. Now, if your landing page or opening page doesn't look like this one, you may like to click on the view and, uh, and select the Apply Default Layout option. OK. We are going to ignore this whole area. You know, it is simply self-explanatory. We're going to focus on, on the tabs on the bottom. First, on file formats. These are the file formats that SAP Data Services supports. We can work with flat files, Excel workbooks. The rest we're going to ignore for now. Next, we have the data stores. Data stores are your data sources. For example, this one, the DS underscore SQL underscore server underscore 2008 points to a SQL server. And, and at this time, it, it points to two tables. Now next is the Transforms tab. These are the objects that act on data based upon certain rules, right? Next are your data flows. Data flows a data flow is a container of data, and in between, they may be one or more transforms. Now, next are the workflows. A workflow is simply is simply a sequence of steps. Right. Next is a job. Right. We have jobs. A job is a container of uh, of. Uh, executable objects like uh, workflows, uh, data flows. There are two types of jobs, batch and real time. Next is the projects tab. This, a project is just a, f a folder that contains related uh, jobs. Now this concludes our short and brief overview of SAP data services. Click on project. Exit and stay tuned for the next lecture. Thank you.